Give it a second. <laughs> um, good morning, good afternoon, <laughs> good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to uh, uh, Dumb SEO Questions, episode 406. Uh, each week uh, we meet here to uh, review uh, the answers uh, um, given on the Dumb SEO Questions Facebook group. Um, with us tonight, we have uh, Masataki Wasa. Masataki is webmaster of uh, wassaweb.net. Uh, he lives in Wimbledon, um, in the, the uh, middle of London. About 100 miles north of London is Tim Kappa. Uh, Tim uh, is uh, CEO of onlineownership.com. He's also a uh, Google product expert uh, in the Google My Business community. Oh, and I didn't mention that Masataki is a, is a Google product expert in the AdSense community. And David Rosam is a leading uh, internet marketer. Uh, he's based uh, in West Sussex uh, um, on, on the sunny side or the sunny bottom of England. All right. Um, let's um, look at um, um, our questions. Just bear with me a moment. Um, what have I done wrong? <laughs> Okay. Now, do you guys see the uh, screen or not? Let's try that. Yeah, the screen is visible. Okay. All right, um, uh, let's um, get started. Um, the first um, question is uh, from Demetrius Maddox. Um, he said, should I put a map in each page or a contact page only? He said, when embedding a Google map for local SEO, should I have it in the footer or is it having it, is having it on the contact page good enough? Um, contact page good enough. Uh, I mean, it all really depends on your, your site's design. Um, if it looks okay to have it on your footer, then, then fine. Uh, what I would make sure to have in your footer is for a local business is at least have the find us like a find us link. I mean, a map would do the job, but obviously it's a design element space. Um, um, so typically, you know, you're not really going to have the space. And then if you put a, a small map in there, um, you know, it's the smaller you get, then you don't show your review stars and things like that. So it then ends up looking a bit silly. So just to find us link, but link it direct to the CID. And that's another thing. Maps don't link to the CID either of the, of the business. So in terms of actually understanding the business, it's, you know, it's, it's not, it's not uh, here nor there, essentially. Um, but definitely have a CID, and which you can include in your HazMap in your uh, local business structured data. Thank you, Tim. Uh, any more from, um, no? Okay. All right, let's uh, move on to the next. We have seven questions tonight. This is number two. Um, it's from Faraz Ahmed, and it's he said that he's submitting in quality local business directories. Um, affect your Google search engine results page. Um, he has to say, is submitting in quality local business directories, um, does that 
affect your Google search engine results page and search engine optimization and link building strategy for backlinks. Um, what is your thought on this? Um, and does anyone um, know a paid top quality Pakistan business directory? Please do not share a random list unless you have experienced it yourself. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> does it affect your Google SERP and SEO and link building? No. Does it help Google understand your business in terms of what Google My Business, because Google My Business is a completely different algorithm to search. Um, does it help uh, Google understand um, your business's uh, prominence? Yes, because if there's only one mention of you online, your business being at X location, your you know, telephone number, uh, address, um then they don't you know then it's sort of uh, a weaker signal so yes directories do help in google understanding uh where your business is located does it help your seo and link building no um as for pakistani directories uh, uh i don't know um google search uh business business directory pakistan then then start searching for more niche so if it's a plumber plumber directories um you know obviously in in, in pakistan and and then submit to that and then um go even further uh to niche local so is the town you're in do they have has someone set up a directory specifically in that town or area you're in submit to that um you know does does your local authority have a particular sort of mini not necessarily a directory but a, a reference to electricians in the area reach out to them see if you can be added uh so you know it's not about just finding directories and chucking it in you know the the, the more relevant they are the more better the understanding is for for um, for for G, for for GMB because that's essentially what it's for. It's not for organic. If you scroll down to the comments, apparently it's an e-commerce shopping website. <laughs> okay, you're not you, you're not. You, <laughs> yeah, you're not eligible for a GMB listing. So don't waste your time with directories, mate. And off. Okay, and before we move on, I, I just I won't read it out, um, but um, it, 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 a, a great answer from Michael Martinez, um, and uh, we are really appreciative of Michael's time that he devotes uh, uh, to the um, Damasio Questions Facebook group. All right, let's go to number three on our run list. This one from Kunjil Chohan. Um, it's um, titled 404 Backlink Query. Um, Kunjil goes on to say, uh, um, suppose if my website has a backlink from an external website, but the backlink to the page, um, but the backlink is to a page that has gone 404. So... What should be my next step? Would redirecting the 404 page, uh, uh, having an external backlink to the closest relevant page, get me some, I hate this word, link juice um, from uh, that um, external backlink? Or is it best to restore the 404 page with its exact URL? Um, our backlinks uh, to... Uh, a 404 page uh, um, even counted as backlinks by Google. And lastly, what's the correct way to deal with this? So I, I don't want to miss out on link equity or juice or whatever we want to call it. Well, I wish we'd call it something else, but I know what you mean. Well, 
Well, I think I think there are two um, two issues here, um, or or two two ways of looking at looking at it. Perhaps uh, one is if you've um, got any um, any evidence of, of visits coming along that that link uh, to the four hundred four, um, in which case you might want to uh, to put some content there for those people. Um, the other thing is in the unlikely. Um, in the unlikely event that link is a natural link from somewhere um, important in the web, shall we say, uh, you definitely want to put a, a new um, a uh, a new piece of content in there. If you don't want to put a new piece of content in there, you can uh, you can redirect it. Um, as uh, as Michael Martinez says, um, I think it was, yeah, you don't want to redirect visitors um, to a piece of questionably relevant content um, just because you've got this uh, this idea that you might be wasting some uh, some link juice or whatever you want to call it. Um, so th think about think about your traffic. Um, if, if you're losing out on, on people coming to your, your site. Um, so um, there you go. I personally, I, I would, um, I think I would replace the, the content that was originally on that, uh, that page. If, uh, if you can, if it's still relevant, um, I don't know why it became a 404 and there's a link to it, but uh, if there was something there that, uh, um, that, that was being linked to, and it's uh, still okay in some way. I think I would just put it back. Thank you, David. Any more? Yeah, I mean, the first thing that I'd be looking at, you know, quite honestly, is um, is what this link is first. You know, uh, then following on from that. Uh, with what David said, is is there actually any traffic? I mean, is there or was there any traffic to this page, past or present? You know, that's that's now um, quite clearly. I mean, if this was your site, quite clearly that wasn't a very important page. You know, because you for afford it, uh, and at the same time you never redirected it. Um, but I would I would have a look at that and actually see you know it was it an oversight Where, was there actually traffic to that page? Um, so firstly look at what kind of link it is. You know it may be a piece of crap and that page never ever ever got traffic. Uh, it could actually even be an, a natural link. So you know that should be your deciding factor uh, first off before you start making massive changes uh, with 301 redirecting when you don't need 301 redirect um, and things like that. Excellent, thank you, Tim. All right, let's move on to the next, if there's no more. All right, let's go to number four in our run list is from Craig Gregoire. Um, the domain for that landing page is not mine. Um, Craig goes on to say, um, I hired a company to do some, or to give some help um, with some search engine optimization slash marketing for my business. One of the things they did is, is update my information uh, across various sites like Yelp, Merchant Circle, etc. They also created a mini site uh, from my website, uh, something more like a landing page, but the, the domain for that landing page is not mine. And all of the uh, various uh, business listing sites, including Google My Business, have this other domain listed for my business. Is this negatively taking away from my actual uh, business uh, domain? Um, the business is blueridgetermite.com. Uh, landing slash mini page is p 
pisscontrolserviceinc.com. Mm. I, that, that's something dodgy there, man. <laughs> something totally dodgy. You know, if you're hiring an SEO company and they're not actually working on your main property, there's something dodgy going on there. You probably, I don't know, you know, you may even look into the small print of this and you may only be renting that domain. Um, you know, when you, when you, and then, and then they just pull everything. Um, the way I would probably look at this now is uh, without rocking the boat, what I would reckon you probably need to do is find the login details. Um, find the login details, you know, ask them if you can have the login details for those directories that they submitted your details to. Um, and if they say why, just say, oh, I just, I've, I've got, you know, additional images um, to add some, I've just had some photography done, some good images that I'd like to add to them. Um, and, I, I, you know, I didn't want to waste your time with it kind of thing. If they provide them to you, good job, then get rid of the bastards um, because then you can update yourself. If they don't provide it to you, that is the next freaking red flag because they're just going to hold you over a barrel with those um, because they can just go in and swap it out to the next client or whatever. The one you must get back or rescind is you said Google My Business. Log into your account and remove them as managers because they can cause all sorts of shit if they have access to it. They can even delete it. So, like, yeah, you know. Um, and then find a company that's going to work on your own site. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I don't like the sound of this either. Um, I commented in the uh, uh, on Facebook um, there the other day. Um, yeah, why would they do this? Uh, why would they set something else up to uh, to work on? It's um, it's extremely questionable. Um, if it's not um, if it's not bad business practice, that's gonna turn around and bite you at some stage um it's certainly questionable seo practice um why do all that work on another domain when you've already got a website um yeah i i would um i would start looking deeply into this and um if indeed it seems to be dodgy then i would uh, i would back out of it um with leaving as little damage as possible. Yeah. I see it. Um, um, Perry Bernard said, if you don't own the domain, you've been robbed. He said, I've seen this before. If you part ways, your actual website still has no SEO done. And that's what you get to keep. Uh, the SEO company, SEO company um, sells the, um, uh, the other page and assets to your competitor. Um, yeah, the SEA company actually set up a new business um, with themselves as the competitor. Ah, oh, goodness me. All right, let's uh, move on to the next, shall we? Okay. Yeah, um, Dino Tuka asked the question, should I disavow um, Reddit backlinks? No, 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 no. Hello, everyone. In Google Search Console and section links, I look at top linking pages dash externally, external pages that link to my homepage. I was surprised to see that there are a bunch of links uh, 
on Reddit that those Reddit posts were irrelevant to my site. Uh, the thing is, when I go to those Reddit links, I cannot find the link to my homepage anywhere. So the, the Google Search Console is claiming they exist, but I can't find them. Um, how is this possible? And, and should I prepare a disavow file for those links since they are irrelevant? I, um, I'll leave them there. Um, I think uh, Reddit links could be okay for you. Um, just because you can't find them doesn't mean that they are uh, that they are bad or otherwise naughty. Um, so I would say um, don't sweat it. Just um, let them sit there um, and get on with something else that's more useful to your site. In any case, I say. Did you want to add something there, Tim? Not Tim, but I wanted to say something. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, my son. Um, I wouldn't worry, mainly because I think outgoing links from Reddit would be marked as nofollow and UGC anyway. Yeah, you're, I think you're right. Yeah, you're, you're probably right. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> no answer, thank you. All right, um, will we go to number six in our run list? We're here already. Dean Hua, um, who has, named, uh, has asked a, a number of questions in the past of us. Um, Question six is titled, Changing the Name of My Business for Optimization Purposes. Um, he goes on to say, I uh, run a digital agency. Its name is Saatchi Studio. However, I want to make it Saatchi Studio Digital Marketing um, for SEO purposes. Relative to the local competition, I have a lot of reviews and they have none, and I feel this may help. Do you think that Google would flag this or is it more of a grey area? Um, I, I imagine uh, there is no clear black and white answer to this, but I thought I'd ask anyway to see what others think, especially from uh, other uh, digital markers at, marketers and uh, search engine optimizers. Look, it's not going to harm you, but don't be aware, uh, just be aware that it's also not like sort of uh, guaranteed. Uh, it, it all depends on what you've done. So, uh, you know, I search digital marketing in my area. Of course, I come up, my name has got nothing to do with digital marketing anywhere in it. And of course, the others who have digital marketing are below me, but that's just because I'm great. <laughs> but so what I mean is it's not necessarily, it's not necessarily going to be, uh, just be aware, it, it, it probably will give you a bump, but it may not be like, you know, all the way up there, if that's what you're thinking. The other thing to do is to protect yourself from a manual review from GMB is to make sure that your logo represents this new name and also your copyright footer update that to represent the new name. Uh, so any quick manual review from GMB will be in uh, logos that um, copyright footers that that's clearly how they uh, refer to themselves and that's a job done it also stops those pesky suggest edits from from people who come across it then go ah that's not his name because they look at your logo they look at your footer that's that's not it so so just to uh protect yourself from any peskiness or manual ma manual um reviews uh just update your logo and your copyright footer and then you're good to go. Uh, you probably also want to look at if you've <laughs> ever updated 
if you've had, if if you ever <coughs> um, in the good old days have been listed in any directories, Yelp, Yelp, 118, Touch Local, things like that, just go in and update your business details there. Uh, it's not a be all and end all, um, but just you know you might as well you might as well reflect that change uh, across the spectrum. Thank you, Tim. Uh, anything to add to, to this? Okay. I think go. not. Oh, sorry, go ahead, David. I said, I think not. Uh -huh. All right, then let's go to uh, question seven. It's from Manoj Saxena. He said, uh, it's titled, Do You Guys Have a List of Sites to Submit To? Um, and he, it goes on to say, for a new website um, looking to build a link profile, do you guys have a list of sites, etc.? Hey, yeah, yeah. Look, just uh, get this link stuff out your head, man. Um, but if you are, I mean, Richard puts up a good, good point there. You know, look at your immediate networks, um, uh, suppliers, partners, um, complementary, uh, other complementary sites that you work with. I don't know what you do, distributors maybe, um, <sighs> distribution networks, all sorts of people that you do you know, um, that have uh, a vested interest in your business and that you have a vested interest in their business and that, you know, you complement each other. Um, if you're a local business, obviously look at some relevant uh, business directories. Uh, if you're a plumber, look at plumbing sites. If you're an electrician, look at electrician sites. Um, but apart from that, don't go down the road of looking at <laughs> uh, places I can, you know, like $99 to submit yourself to, please don't do that. You know, you just, you know, you, you, you're making, you, you're making problems for yourself. Um, it's all crap. It's not natural. Do yourself a favor, go and have a look at, oh Jesus, what does Google call it? Uh, Google webmaster, is it still webmaster guidelines or is it, console guidelines now i have no idea google webmaster guidelines links and you'll see what google considers to be natural links what considered to be unnatural links and that may prevent you from shooting yourself in the foot thank you tim any more guys All right, um, fairly sure that we're going to get this answer. I'm going to click this link. Yes, it is. Thank you for watching, Tom. Um, we'll be back. Um, at the, before we go, though, um, let me uh, uh, thank um, the, the people that answer questions uh, on the Damasio Questions Facebook group um, through the week. Uh, people like um, Rob Watts, uh, Casey Marquis, Michael Martinez, uh, Richard Hearn, of course, um, and sometimes uh, um, joins us for, for the recording when we review the uh, answers given. And uh, Adam J. Humphreys and, and Amon Johns, uh, and Brenda Malone. Um, we are so grateful and... Um, you know, that they make uh, Damasio questions uh, such a, a valuable resource. And, of course, you guys, uh, um, Tim Tim Kapoor, uh, uh, David Razam, uh, Masataki Wasa, and uh, Micah Fisher-Kirshner uh, um, sometimes. All right. Um, let's... Uh, sign off now um we'll be back uh, at the same time next week um but uh, for now uh, it's um good night